And what are you going to be doing for us? Well, you will see me in costume, and I will act as Christopher Columbus in the first person, and my function will be to debunk and to dispel all misconceptions about Christopher Columbus that people have been hearing. Let's watch Columbus Returns with Mr. Lou Gallo. Buongiorno. Cristoforo Colombo da Genova. I am very disturbed and that's why I'm here today. Because I'm finding out that my statuary all over the world is being vandalized and destroyed. Why? I'm, that's why I'm here. I'm here to dispel all those particular notes. These revisionists and detractors don't pursue in depth the real story. And as a result, it gets distorted. I did enroll with my brother in a naval academy, thanks to Prince Henry the Navigator. He set up all these naval academies to learn a lot about maritime navigation. But by the time I was 18, I was a full-time sailor. Uh, I noticed certain things about the current. Around the Cape Verde Islands, the current went west. And we put together this whole uh, calculation, and uh, I, we felt that uh, the length of latitude is only 45 degrees. I know we were wrong. Eventually, we were I that. was going. I was going. The whole ideology was to sail west to find a route and meet the great Khan of Cathay. And it was the obligation of every Christian at that time to spread the gospel and to convert people to the one true religion. Invasion? What is this all about? There was no invasion. Oh my gosh, the next thing we did was I gave them gifts. I gave them hawk bells and I gave them little bits of beads and some of our caps and some of our clothing. They had no idea, so it was truly a discovery. And the beauty part about discovery is, is to find something that is unknown and make it known. So from the European vantage point, it was truly a discovery. We had this beautiful intermingling. I found these Taino people to be the greatest people I have, that ever lived, that I ever met. I was so thankful to Wat Kanagari, I said, I want to take you on the Nina and give you a feast. And he said, no, no. I want to give you a feast. And that night we had a feast, and my gosh, he gave me all kinds of gifts and more nuggets, and he gave us a lot of food. And the next thing that happened was I gave him some gifts in between. I gave him a beautiful collar, I gave him a ring, I gave him my red shoes. It was wonderful. Well, when I came back, all 39 were dead. And when I approached Wakanagari about it, he said, think of the complete opposite. People like Diego de Arana, Rodrigo Escobedo, Pedro Gutierrez, they divide up into little predatory gangs. I'm not a brutal to uh, totalitarian invader. I'm not a barbarian. I was a devout Christian whose only mission was to try to meet the great Khan and to spread the Christian word.